Right, let's talk about fighter jets. They are, and I say this with absolute certainty, the coolest things humanity has ever built. They are pure power, incredible speed, brain-melting technology, sleek, pointy package. At air shows around the world, Farnborough, Paris. There's one jet that's been turning heads, not just because it's new, but because it's different. It's the Saab Gripen E. It doesn't have the thundering reputation of the big American players just yet, but it's quietly building a name for itself as the clever, plucky underdog. It's the David in a world of Goliaths. This isn't just any jet, it's a Swedish masterpiece. And you know the Swedes. Volvo, Ikea, ABBA. The Gripen E is all of that, but with an afterburner. It's been showing up, doing its thing and leaving aviation experts whispering. Now those whispers have crossed the Atlantic and landed squarely in Canada. Now let's pop over to sunny Portugal for a moment. The Portuguese Air Force isn't just looking for any old jet, they have a job to do. They need a capable, reliable fighter to replace their aging F-16s. So, they put the Gripen E through its paces, rigorous tests simulated combat scenarios. One of the first things that stood out was the Gripen's incredible efficiency. Think of it like a world-class athlete who barely breaks a sweat. The Portuguese evaluators were reportedly stunned by its low operational cost per flight hour. While other jets can guzzle fuel, the Gripen sips its juice and can be turned around for another mission by a small team in minutes. Then, there's the technology. The Portuguese pilots were introduced to the Gripen's revolutionary cockpit. It's less like a traditional fighter and more like something from a sci-fi film. With its wide area display, the pilot gets all the information they need. All right, place your bets. In the Canadian corner, we have a massive competition. The heavyweights from the USA, F-35 Lightning II FA-18 Super Hornet. The F-35 is stealthy. The F-35 is a high-tech marvel. It's packed with sensors, a flying intelligence hub, but all that magic comes with a colossal price tag. For Canada, do they need top-end stealth for the Arctic? Or is that an expensive capability they'd rarely use? The safe bet? The tough guy. Evolution of the CF-18. Some familiarity for Canada. Not as cutting-edge or efficient as the Gripen. The Gripen positions itself as the smart choice. Advanced EW, reliable engine, extreme efficiency. And that's where the Gripen E makes its move. Let's talk about money. But when you're a country buying 88 new fighter jets, the price tag is, well, everything. This is where the Gripen E really starts to shine, and it's a massive reason why it's shocking the world. The sticker price for a Gripen is significantly lower than its main competitor, the F-35. We're talking about a difference that could add up to billions. Think of it this way. Buying the jet is like buying a printer. The printer itself might seem affordable, but the real cost is in the ink cartridges you have to keep buying forever. The F-35 is notorious for its eye-watering cost per flight hour. The Gripen E, on the other hand, was designed from the ground up to be frugal. If your jets are cheaper to fly, you can afford to fly them more often. That means your pilots get more training hours. A slightly less stealthy jet that's always in the air and ready to go is arguably more useful than a super stealth jet that's grounded by its own expense. Peel back the metal skin and you'll find what truly makes it special. Its brain. Modern fighter jets are essentially flying supercomputers but the Gripen's approach to technology is what really sets it apart. The centerpiece is sensor fusion. Simple idea, huge payoff. AESA radar that can track several targets, infrared sensor, ARST, for heat signatures. Data link to talk to jets, ships, ground stations. The Gripen fuses all that into one simple picture for the pilot. Imagine you're in the cockpit. One unified touchscreen replaces three separate screens. It shows friendlies. It shows threats. It shows the best course of action. The system crunches the data, freeing the pilot to make big tactical decisions. It listens to enemy emissions, identifies radar systems, then floods them with digital noise to jam and blind. A software-first solution, easier to upgrade than stealth by shape. Upgrades become faster, cheaper. Gripen can constantly evolve, a future-proof design for decades to come. Canada is not like other countries, it's massive, it's wild, and for much of the year it's incredibly cold. Well, guess where the Gripen comes from? Sweden. The Gripen wasn't just tested in the cold, it was forged in it. 
One of the Gripen's famous party tricks is its ability to operate from dispersed, austere locations. During the Cold War, Sweden planned to scatter its air force across the country, using stretches of ordinary public roads as makeshift air bases. So the Gripen had to be tough, self-sufficient, and easy to service, rapid turnaround in under 10 minutes. When a country buys fighter jets, it's not just buying planes, it's making an investment that will shape its economy and industry for decades. Saab has played an absolute masterstroke with their proposal to Canada. It's the ultimate flat pack project. Instead of a bookshelf, you get one of the world's most advanced fighter jets. For Canada, this would mean creating thousands of high-tech jobs across the country. They bring the blueprints, the tools, and the expertise, technology transfer, the skills and technologies developed could spill over into other sectors of the Canadian economy. It's a very, very clever move. So, what do the people who actually know about flying these incredible machines think? While active Royal Canadian Air Force pilots are usually tight-lipped during a procurement process, the Canadian aviation community is buzzing with opinions from retired pilots, defense analysts, and industry experts. One common refrain from former CF-18 pilots is the appeal of the Gripen's modern pilot-centric cockpit. Experts like David Perry note the industrial benefits offered by Saab are very compelling, but some express concern about interoperability with a US-dominated NORAD system. The debate is fierce, but the fact that Gripen is being so seriously discussed shows how credible a contender it truly is. Critics point to the F-35 stealth as a game-changing capability the Gripen can't match. Still, performance, affordability, and partnerships speak loudly. So what would the future look like if Canada took the plunge and chose the Swedish superstar? It would be a bold and transformative decision, signaling a pragmatic, self-reliant approach. The Gripen's efficiency would allow the RCAF to maintain a more visible and persistent presence in the Arctic. There would be political pressure, logistics to manage, and scrutiny on Saab to deliver industrial benefits. For Canada, the little Swedish jet that could might just be the perfect fit. And that is brilliant.